I'm doing good. Excited for Catalyst. Well, I mean, based on all the posts that you've done, I'm sure you've gotten like 500 people that want that free ticket. What's up with that? Uh, we got a good number. Uh, okay. We actually ended up giving it away to a very promising uh, person, Kayla from Formzak. Uh, we're excited to meet her as well. So I'm chatting with her. So yeah, that was a that was a nice little gig. We wish we can do another one, but there's just not enough time. So still hoping that we'll meet the rest of the thousand people that are coming to Catalyst. Yeah. Uh, so that's fun. But hey, you know what I was thinking the other day? Um, I've been to like a million trade shows, both managing, hosting, boothing, whatever, right? And uh, I've done a lot of creative things, right, at trade shows because I just I just hate the boring ones. Um, but then I was thinking the other day, there are two things I have never done in a trade show that I'm going to do at Catalyst. And they're pretty strange to me. One is I'm launching my own company. Yeah. That's <laughs> I'm a first time entrepreneur, first time founder. So I'm actually launching it at an event. I've definitely launched other people's companies, just never my own. So that's interesting. And then the other one, that's this one a bit quirky. I'm teaching a yoga class. Did you know, know. I'm teaching a yoga class? Uh, well, I've done a yoga a couple of times. It's not my thing, but uh, I'm impressed by the fact that you can actually do a teacher class at uh, Catalyst. Yeah, we were just talking about it and I was reaching out to your team uh, when they first proposed the idea to me and then it slowly starts to become even more and more interesting because there could be a hundred people that could show up to my yoga class. So we're like, totally. where are we going to do this? Well, apparently we're doing it on a main stage. So <laughs> I'll be on the stage one way or another, apparently. And then we're thinking, where are we going to get the yoga mats? I'm like, you know what? No yoga mats. We'll just do the whole series standing. And then the mm -hmm. final question, we're like, well, how are we going to handle the towel situation when people sweat? I'm like, I got that too. I'm going to be giving away the Partner Utopia towels as a giveaway. Oh, sweet. <laughs> so we just got the whole thing covered. So Wait, 200 are, people show up to my class. We're good to go. Are you launching a yoga company or a software company? Because it sounds like you're launching two companies. <laughs> Not launching two companies. Launching a partner creation company so we're mm -hmm. launching partner utopia that helps companies identify the early stages of actually creating a partnership so then it can grow into co-sell co-market rebranding yeah. and things like that um and the yoga class just going with the theme you guys are launching at catalyst which is really fitness right so it's about fitness yeah. we want to make sure that people are fit and moving and going so you guys are having yeah. all kinds of interesting activities going on um and i personally have been doing yoga my whole life so i said hey i'll raise my hand and teach a yoga class but that's yeah, just personal hobby, working it into my business professional life. Well, that's where I think Catalyst is going to go now because we're going to have health and wellness as a pillar of Catalyst. And so I'm super pumped about this because I've been practicing some of the tips and tricks of making sure that you're always at hyper, in high performance mode myself for the last couple of years. And then I just figured there's something missing at Catalyst and we want to make it more modern and more relevant and more human. And so we decided to do the health and wellness pillar. And so I'm not going to share details about it, but there is a 5K that we always do. And then now there's now there's also yoga, but there's a whole bunch of other things that we're going to do uh, as part of the health and wellness uh, track, as we're calling it. And so it's exciting. Okay, that's great. What else going on? What else are you guys planning to do? Well, we're about to make a couple of really big announcements in the next week or so. And, uh, and, and, you know, what's interesting is, is we said when we first started the conference that we would provide a very curated agenda. And that's what we're providing. Like every speaker on main stage is very experienced. They've been there. They've done that. They've, and they've done it at larger companies. That there's not an SMB or startup thing anymore, right? Uh, but the other cool thing is we have a few CEOs joining Catalyst for the first time because they're interested in learning from other very experienced people about how to do partnerships and how to scale partnerships. And you know, in some cases, they want to do it without the tech. And my thing to them was like, you should learn about the tech as well. And then they're like, okay, well, where are we going to go? And I'm like. I think I know an event for you. Here. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I'm so excited. It's just, it seems like it's just with every announcement that I see from you guys, especially from Chris, I get more and more excited about the show. Yeah. No, I mean, it's an exciting time in your life, but also, you know, some of the most exciting things that happened at, in partnerships that happened at Catalyst. I mean, I don't know if you guys heard about the, the, the cross-beam and reveal merger, which I think everybody has heard about it right now, right? 
But Bob and Simon met for the first time at Catalyst in in in, De in Miami. I didn't know that. That's interesting. <laughs> yeah, that they literally met there for the first time, and that's where they started their, their relationship. Well, that's what partnerships are all about. It's relationships. Exactly. Tools now, also, when you put an industry conference together, it brings industry to think about new ideas, create new ideas, and then it takes a couple of years to execute on them, but they will get done. But where are they? They are all getting created at an industry event, and that's why we set out to create this event. It wouldn't be possible without you guys. Honestly, I'm, just, I'm coming off of two weeks of creating pitch decks and pitching to all kinds of investors, and I have you guys in several slides and my story behind why I decided to leave everything with a one-year-old on my hand and start a software company was um, really you guys had a lot to do with it. Partner leadership had a lot to do with it. Your existence, your validation of the role, the space, the support that I get from you guys all is the reason why I'm here today. So super thankful. Well, you're welcome. And also, we should thank our sponsor, Starbucks, where you and I hang out if you're, on Fridays, you know. <laughs> well, neither one of us get coffee. Have you ever noticed exactly. that? That's true. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. Well, we are, let's say, a month or so away by the time people look at this video. And uh, excited for you. Excited for everybody that's coming to Catalyst. And I'll see you in Chicago. Awesome. Thanks, Ash.